guys traveling blade here back again for another vlog back again for another away vlog tonight we travel all the way to birmingham to take on aston villa away at villa park obviously aston villa if they win if when they win will go top of the league so a lot a lot to play for for them they have got an incredible home form at the minute i think they've got the best home form in the country perhaps even the world 15 games in a row now they've won at home and we have got the worst away record in the league jesus christ god help us um hearing rumors that we're going to be playing a week inside um we're coming off the back of a routine um you know regular regulation 2-0 loss away at Stamford Bridge uh, where we really struggled to create anything and a little bit we did create we just were absolutely wasted so I'm going into tonight's game with very little hope indeed I will be over the moon if we get a point if we get a shot on target I'm going to be flipping falling over dazed and confused not knowing where I am so yeah optimism is at an all-time high going into this fixture but hopefully we don't get any injuries or suspensions because we've got for us at least, a more important fixture on Boxing Day with Luton at home, which is more important for us because this against Villa and the form there is just, we, you know, free hit. We may as well be playing Man City, Liverpool away at this point. They're that good at home. So yeah, if we can get anything, I will be over the moon. What a Christmas present that will be. All right, so the lineups are out. Bit of a mixed bag. You've got Paul up back in. Slamani in, Luzucci starting as well. Uh, Archer up top alone. Uh, Andre Brooks as well starting. So it's quite a bit of a change side, a weak side. Obviously, I think probably then if we've got a few injuries or just saving a few players for the um, using this as a free hit, saving them for Luton at home. But mixed squad is going to be hard enough as it was. But well, that's starting eleven. It's going to be even harder. But let's hope we can cause an upset. So we've got another VAR check for a penalty here. We've just had one not given, now we've got another. A minute after. Ten minutes in, three VAR checks for penalties already. I am sorry. Set Wes! Oh, yeah. Come on, Sammy. Oh, Come on, Sammy. Oh, on. Villa keep trying to carve their way into their box, zigzagging on this right hand side. Um, but I've not had many shots on target forced. One, maybe two saves from Wes. Um, but for all their possession, not had too many shots on target. Yasser Larouche has been absolutely fantastic at this left wing back position. Uh, keeping, I think it's a 31 37, I don't know his name. Just about keeping him at bay. 
Um, Andre Brooks as well, what an outlet he's been. Obviously, we've not, I've done much with the ball, but pretty much everything, everything we have done going forward has gone through Brooks. A bit of good defending as well and holding the ball up, a few good tackles. Susie has been doing okay, but needs to keep his hands off a player's shoulders, else he's going to give away a penalty. We had three VAR penalty checks, obviously against them, um, in like the first 12 minutes. Chaos, but give us something to watch. KG so far, we're holding our own. I'll take it from there. Spend all game defending so, so well, and then you throw it away like that. That is stupid. Lazy, lapsadaisical, pathetic defending. We've done so well, and then we just do that. Pointless. What's the point? The ref's been sent to the screen to check for a foul in the build for the goal. There's a chance to get overturned, but it's Sheffield, so we know it's not. <laughs> Three days at a time. Oh God, please hold on. Nine out of I thought it might have been twelve. Fucking out with learnt our lessons from Spurs. Get up, come on, get up, get up, hold on. Bloody hell, football, eh? Honestly, if you'd said to me before the game, one all, I'd have snapped your hand off, but then as I said, well, hang on a minute, let's just see what at what point, <laughs> what's the context of those goals? I always say with draws, I always say when we're going, yeah, but we've got, we've got a draw, we've got a draw, we've got a draw. Draws are all about the context, because I've, uh, for instance, you know, I've come out of draws, felt it feeling like the flipping bottom's falling out of my world. 
for instance, the three all at Villa Park back in 2019, 18, whenever it was. I've also had draws feeling like we've won the flipping World Cup, Bournemouth away. Um, and unfortunately, last night, flipping Villa Park again, we can't hold a lead at Villa Park. Um, so yeah, one all. What a performance by United though. Very, very impressed and proud of how we played through the entire game. We had a game plan, we stuck to it. We frustrated Villa, we, offered, we gave them very little. They dominated the ball, uh, absolutely. Um, but in the first half especially, did very, very little with it. And they were bringing the stats up at Villa, on the screen at Villa Park. And I believe in the first half, I think they may have had about six shots at Aston Villa. One of them was on target, according to the screen at Villa Park. So we first, we kept, and it was fairly comfortably saved by Wes. I thought LaRucci was fantastic. Wasn't perfect, admittedly, but some brilliant, brilliant tackles. Uh, Brooks, what a star he could be, honestly. Brilliant player, um, running things down. McBurney, take note. And putting in some good tackles, also helping out at the back as well. Uh, very good on the ball. Uh, was our main outlet, to be fair. Absolutely brilliant. Jack Robinson, as ever, fantastic. Uh, Souza had another good game, um, chopping away at them at bits, getting the odd toe end here and there, which really helped. But Wes, oh my days, I love him and I defend him. And it's really, really frustrating because at 1-0, we were 1-0 up and he put in an incredible save, a really, really good save to keep it at 1-0. The goal at the end, oh Wes, you've got to do better than that. I mean, he wasn't the only player at fault. The crossing was defended woefully. I'm not sure which players it was and if it was Trusty and someone else. It was defended woefully. Um, shouldn't have been allowed to cross it in with such ease. But Wes has messed up there again and it's so frustrating because um, I come out and defend Wes and he did some you know, brilliant saves in that game. Like I said, there was one previous, not long before that kept it at 1-0 to us. But then he's come out and done that. It's like, oh, for God's sake. And people going, oh yeah, we've got a point away. But we, we had a win. We were like two minutes away from a win. A win on the road against Slipping Villa that win every game at home. But yeah, top of the league, you're having a laugh. We frustrated them. Second half, we actually ended up, there was a good spell where we ended up, I think when McAtee came on, we ended up being the better team and actually sort of dominate and play for a, a little spell. We kept firing shots in. Norwood came close with a brilliant shot, which was well held by uh, Martinez. Um, but the goal though, oh, what a goal. It was so nice to get a goal that, as I say, a proper goal. It wasn't a penalty, it wasn't an own goal. Brilliant ball through. Um, Hamer, Harmer. Fantastic stop on the byline, passed it in, and then a brilliant finish from Archer. And the scenes in the away end were absolutely incredible. Obviously, we've not had much. We've not had much in the season at all. But on the road, especially, we had the point at Brighton, which was from an own goal. But to get a goal like that on the road at somewhere like Villa Park, wow, absolutely incredible. And the re the celebrations reflected that absolute farce with VAR killing the game. Obviously, most of the decisions obviously went in our favour, but. We had about three VAR checks in the first 12 minutes, just pointless. And they, ne they never even overturned the on-field decision. Just pointless, absolutely pointless. Um, obviously, it went in our favour. Villa's first goal got overruled. Not seeing it back. Don't know if it was a foul. Obviously, VAR have given it. I just thought it was really, really bad defending from us. Personally, I didn't actually think it was a foul. I didn't notice anything in real time. When Villa scored, I wasn't appealing, going foul. I just thought, oh, we've been crap in defence. So I'll gladly take that. That was a pleasant surprise. Um, but just too many checks, too many checks all the time. I thought the ref was, um, I think the Villa fans didn't like him. I didn't, we didn't like him either. You know, Archer's running through, getting held, his shirt pulled, held up. And then the ref's going, oh no, get up. It's like, absolute buffoon of a referee. But point on the road, am I happy? Uh, overall, I'm very impressed with the performance, but same old story with this season. We cannot, cannot hold on at the end. Same story all the way through this season, whether it's Forest away, Villa away, Spurs away. We cannot hold on at the end. We've got to sort that out. But there's a lot, lot of cause for optimism, and it was a vast improvement. Anyway, guys, I've been the Travelling Blade, and I'll see you for Luton at home.